It's time to roll the barrel. It's time to spread the word. It's time to ask the nerd. Do you nerd? I'm Jacob Webb. I own Nowhere Store here in Springfield. We do a little bit of everything. Games, comics, cards, collectibles, all sorts of stuff. Basically, if you were made fun of for it in high school, we've got it. We do our Final Fantasy trading card game tournaments on Saturdays. We do learn to plays on all of the things that we have in stock on Fridays. We have a website at NowhereStore.com. Our Facebook page is Facebook slash Nowhere Store. Really important to us that our community is happy with what we're doing and we just want people in the shop playing games. Joel, actually, quick question. Uh, mushrooms on pizza, are you a fan? I mean, uh, yes. yes. 100%. <laughs> so, yes. I'm Adam. So, uh, yeah, what's well, the story is I um, went to the thrift store, and I bought a bunch of these statues. And as they were checking out, he was rolling them up into newspaper. And I was like, oh, you don't need to do that. And I was like, I'm just going to take them home and break them. I make him into miniature terrain for my players, and he, he clicked. And he was like, oh, that's so cool. Yeah, and then he starts like trying to tell the next coworker about it, and that guy was not interested whatsoever. <laughs> so yeah, that's what they ended up turning out to be, is just some uh, scatter terrain. Legitimately, someone's trash is another person's treasure. 
and then they put it on the train to make people fight on it. So uh, I don't have a site. So <laughs> uh, just email me at uh, strangerthingies417 gmail.com. Look at this! My friend Hank crochets those. <laughs> They're all great. individual. She never repeats any colors or patterns. So <laughs> cute! Hey Tom. I found your zombies. Yeah, now we're talking. What? It's a cool cover because it's done by the art of Yoshitaka Amano. You know, Final Fantasy. Hello. Wow. Do you nerd? Yes. <laughs> oh, that's not safe for work. Hi, everybody. I'm Tom Hutchison. I am the writer, publisher, um, art director, traveling salesman for all things Big Dog Inc. We've been doing comics now for 13 years. Superheroes, westerns, horror, fantasy, um, just about anything that you like. We probably have some kind of a comic that you'd be interested in. Our sort of gateway drug, you might call it, for, for Big Dog Inc. is a book called The Legend of Oz, The Wicked West. Uh, it's a western reimagining The Wizard of Oz. Instead of Ruby Slippers, Dorothy's got Ruby Spurs, Ruby Bullets, Toto's her horse. Uh, it still has all the fantasy elements, the flying monkeys, the witches, the haunted forest, but Oz as a world is grounded in the Wild West. And that's sort of the, the uh, sort of obvious book that people come in because they understand what Oz is, even if they don't understand what our Oz is, and then that opens the door to everything else that we do. Um, you can find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. We are across the social media platforms, Big Dog Inc., BDI Comics. Just search for any of those in your favorite social media platform and you'll find us. What did you get? I got Skittles. Got freezer, or what do you, you just call them original munchies. I didn't remember if this one had a fun name or not. <laughs> yeah. So we got Skittles.
All right, well, I'm Jason Martin with Martin Art Studio. I'm an illustrator that's been working in comics, print media, digital for 20, 30 years now. And um, we're at Tremendicon 2023 at the moment. And brought some of my originals here. Of course, people love seeing all the actual originals and uh, Avengers, Batman. And these are just my own personal ones that I like to do for myself. Um, it's Ray from Neon Genesis, Iron Man, Hulk, of course. I'm working on this, a series has been very popular so far, Universal Monsters. You got Frankenstein, Dracula. This will be a four piece that will go down to the mummy and werewolf once it's all finished up. And uh, print media from the past, working for PlayStation and various magazines. I worked on Thundercats on the comic and I did a pinup piece that was not used, but it's okay. <laughs> This was used in the movie Paul. If you ever get a chance to see the movie Paul, there's a t-shirt in it that you can see that I did the artwork for. And um, one of the latest, a Clockwork Orange piece that Malcolm McDowell himself approved of. So go to martinart.app, A-P-P, and you will find my contact information. And right now it's mainly a stat a list of all my works, but um, I will be updating as it goes along. You'll be able to buy prints in the future, all those kind of things as well. All right, I'm just I'm just gonna go this way. Oh no, wait! I'm just gonna. I, just, I don't know which 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 way to go. <laughs> Hi, I'm Adrian. Um, I have Libra Arts. I do mostly like fan art, but I also do some original art from time to time. I do all the artwork here, and my amazing mom does all the jewelry work. I've started this like a year ago. Um, I really wanted to sell my artwork and she wanted to do something too so we decided to like combine our stuff together at our table. I started a YouTube channel about a year ago and I've started blogging some of the experiences that I've had going to different conventions starting up for the first time. I post mainly on Instagram but I do have some other social medias here and there but you're more than welcome to check me out. I'm always down to make new art friends. My name's Andrew with Grim Beard Leather. All the stuff you see behind me is stuff that I've created. Um, I have a lot of help because I'm only one person, but I uh, like to hire local artists to help me do the designs, have uh, people locally that help me with all the sewing and things like that. I'm just a giant nerd and I turned my hobby into a business. So making dice bags and gamer backpacks, dice rolling trays, anything out of leather that I can gild with uh, foils and stuff, that's, that's what I love doing. Best place to find me is at your local game store. I'm in seven states and about 43 shops right now, um, and I focus mainly on conventions and game stores. If you're in the Springfield, uh, Missouri area, uh, Meta Games has my stuff, uh, Haven Games and Nixa has my stuff, and I just branch out from there. Uh, St. Louis, Miniature Market, uh, Level 1 Games in Kansas City, Wizards Asylum in Tulsa, Oklahoma. I got shops in Michigan and all over the place. Um, if you go to grimbeardleather.com, uh, it has a list of all of the shops that I sell in, and uh, that'll give you kind of an idea where you can find your stuff.
Oh, he's already got that. We gotta go get Zelda. Be sure to go check out Zelda. Zelda. My name is Jonathan Iverson, and I actually am with Jazeda. And what I do is I am a game de developer, maker, publisher myself. We come to cons all over the United States and promote our games. So far we have a total of eight, but our top producer right now is Blue Jays, which is now on the phone, uh, either Android or Apple. Right now we're doing tournaments all, all day. We've been doing tournaments all weekend, and I'm ready to, really tired from, <laughs> from running tournaments, but we're down to the last two, so it's really exciting uh, to be a part of this. Where Blue Jays got its beginning, I was 17 years old and in high school. I was a Canasta player, but you need four people to play Canasta. What I did is I took a, the seven decks, took all the face cards out, the king, the queen, the jack, uh, that we used the ten, and then we also used the ace, and created a square card. The, the one I jack uh, had a sword, and when you cut the card in half, you saw half its face and you had the sword. But what we ended up doing is we ended up taking four of those cards, and we circled the, them, and we called them the blue jay, or the blue jack, uh, with a blue pen. And that's where the Blue Jay got its name or in the origination of Blue Jay. And then it was, uh, J we called the game J and J because you had to match a J and J together. And this is kind of corny, but my girlfriend back then was Jenny. And when you put Jonathan and Jenny together, you win. <laughs> the game right now is very popular. It, like I said, it was on the phone. It, it's on your phone, Android or Apple. Uh, but you can find it at jazeta.com, J-A-Y-Z-E-T-A.com. So why are you playing this? It's practice. I'm getting ready to go make a sword, so it's, it's practice. I gotta be ready. Obviously. Come on, Zelda. I'm gonna get you to sanctuary. Look at this guy. Hit him with a boomerang. Balls in a hole. Goodbye. Hi, I'm Aaron with the Anomalous Persona. I'm also known as Springfield Deadpool, and we're getting ready to put this thing on right here I'm going to sweat profusely and um, the whole process of building this thing I've learned so much and then all the people here that are here this weekend it's almost like God put me in front of them so that I could take the next steps to all the things that I want to create and make this guy he's got three servos in him open the top jaw the bottom jaw and it actuates the tongue goes in and out so there's three control bars in the, in the, in the body and there's a soundboard. So I have spoken audio that's altered with a synthesizer and a microphone. <laughs> How can I control those servos and that control board and the soundboard from within there and still look cool with my claws and all that? He's got switches in his fingers for the audio and for the, the mouth and stuff. Everything in here runs off of six volts. Uh, each servo has 5.4 to six volts. So he's got cooling fans in there. I've got a screen, and I'm also using a, a drone camera and a snake cam. Everything in here runs off of those uh, phone charger packs. This weekend, I met some really cool people that really helped me out and where I'm going next with these kind of projects, and it, it really it makes me tingle. It makes the hair stand up on my neck because uh, I live for this stuff. This is one of our things. It's called Anomalous Persona Entertainment. We're a group of actors, cosplayers, engineers, and artists that uh, just we just love to entertain. Thank you for your interest, and if you're out there cosplaying, don't stop, uh, don't stop for nothing. We're not gonna eat. We're not gonna eat Mrs. Chang. No. Nope. <laughs>
named after Disney Princess. Her name is Jasmine. <laughs> Let me have this. Klingon Pop Warrior. I sing pop and rock songs translated into the Klingon language, and I'm the Klingon language consultant for Star Trek Prodigy. You can find me at KlingonPopWarrior.com. You can find my music on Spotify, Amazon, iTunes, all the things. You can also find me streaming on Twitch a couple days a week when I'm around, and just all over the interwebs. So come say hi. Venom's like, but I want. <laughs> Venom, no. <laughs> <laughs> Dragon. Dragon. First purchase, naturally, it's a dragon. It's a dragon and a plushie. <laughs> I, I think it's great. Makes me feel like uh, the price is right, where you always had the, the long microphone yeah. thing. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was about to say. Did I just catch you playing with your dolls? Venom want besides a teeny tiny pink microphone. Me. This is awesome. <laughs> he sat for a couple of months because I had to buy a house and everything like that, and I uh, had a the moving process going on. But that is amazing. <laughs> oh, smack it. <laughs> 
And you can find me at KlingonPopWarrior.com. You can find my music on Spotify. You know, I got a hair in my mouth. What is that? Is there we go? Let's let's try that again. Okay.